out, I actually found this. And it was curled up just behind the beautiful pattern of the scales on the puff adder. And this looks quite a decent size puff adder as well. And it actually did come off all in one. And again, I, I believe this was actually donated. So these are the scales underneath. Uh, so you can see quite a lot larger. And that helps with the movement of the snake. So they can press into the soil and they can actually slither along or using the muscles on their belly. So this particular kind of snake does actually move in a, what they call a rectilinear motion. So it can actually go in a straight line across the road. If they really need to move fast, then they'll do that a very typical motion. Um, but otherwise, uh, as I say, they can use this, these scales to sort of dig into the ground and they'll uh, contract the muscles and then uh, relax and expand the muscles so that the next set can then contract and it kind of pulls them along. So uh, quite amazing. Uh, sort of movement if you like. So I want to have a look underneath the microscope. V-shell saying a beautiful snake and it actually is. I mean you can see the coloration here uh, really blends in very well with the bush and I think a lot of people Ah, there we go. <laughs> There's the microscope. Um, so you can see it's, it's almost like sandpaper, the scales, and they've got that ridge uh, down the centre of it. Now, some other snakes don't actually have that. Um, so some of the other snakes are very smooth and shiny. And uh, it's funny, actually, the general rule of thumb seems to be, you know, sort of shiny snakes are venomous. But I say the puff adder is obviously one of the exceptions to that rule because they are quite dull. And a lot of people are worried that when they go walking, Walking through the bush they might actually find a puff adder. Well, I've been walking in the bush for 10 years and actually have found no puff adders on foot. Um, the one I did find it was actually close to where my car was parked and uh, we actually it was eating a frog at the time but usually you hear them hissing uh, and that's where it gets its name from the, the puffing. Uh, so they actually puff themselves out and it will be these uh, scales that will actually rub against each other when it puffs itself out. So it's kind of like a That's what that's what you hear, but obviously when it's not as crinkly uh, then you can actually uh, it, it's, it doesn't sound as dry So it sounds more like sandpaper rubbing and that's what you hear when they actually do uh, Puff themselves out. So I think we're going to go back and see how shadow is doing uh, Hopefully she is going to be okay, but as Tristan said there has been there has been leopards that have had worse injuries uh, so hopefully she'll be okay.